What's going on gamers? Today, we're going to be going over how to optimize your modded servers. Before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on every tutorial we post just like this one. Of all aspects of a Minecraft server, lag is something that no server owner ever wants to experience. No one wants to have to keep replacing blocks that disappear or wait many seconds to eat a piece of food. These are just minor inconveniences and a whole slew of problems that can arise from lag. We have a great guide on our website and our YouTube that covers types of lag and ways to reduce them. You can find that link below the video. Although, with that one, we have a ton of optimizations that aren't really discussed. But don't worry, because that's what we're going to do here today. We're giving you tons of information on how you can optimize your modded Apex hosting server. It's time to go over Forge modded servers. The most common type of modded server you're going to find yourself using is probably going to be a Forge server. Most one-click mod packs provided by Apex are running Forge. You might get some mod packs that end up running Fabric, but if you're running a Forge one, just make sure that you're running Forge. And if you want to run Fabric, just make sure that you're running Fabric. Our first tip for our Forge servers is changing the view distance. Forge servers aren't going to have a lot of settings that can be used to optimize a server. So the best thing you can do is setting-wise lowering the server view distance. The view distance is used to determine how many chunks around each player are going to be loaded. Here's an example of the amount of chunks loaded around one player with a server view distance of 6. Each server defaults to 10 view distance. This is probably going to be fine in some cases, but if you aren't experiencing lag on a server, it's the best place to start just reducing the value from default. We're going to recommend a view distance of 4 to 6 for modded servers to increase performance while also keeping the view distance adequate for gameplay. To change this, follow the following steps. Go ahead and log into your main Apex server panel and click on config files to the left of the panel and then select server settings. Now. You're going to locate and change the view distance setting to whatever you prefer. And lastly, you're going to need to click save at the bottom of the page and head back to the main panel page to restart your server so you can wait for that to take effect. Another cool option is chunk pre-generation. A common cause of lag is going to be chunk generation. Players want to go out and go exploring and go to con cool biomes and dimensions from every mod, but constantly exploring new chunks to, will cause a heavy chunk on server performance. This is why pre-generating the chunks on a server is an excellent way to help improve performance. The best way to generate chunks in the world is with the mod called Chunk Pre-Generation. Regardless of the server version, this mod is going to have you covered. After you get this mod installed, you're going to have to hit the generation command in console or in game as slash pregen space start space gen space radius space capital G gen capital E example space and in all caps square space zero space zero space 100 and then hit enter. This is going to generate everything within a hundred chunk radius of the zero comma zero location of your world. This can be adjusted to your needs as raising the value of 100 to a lot more areas of chunk pre-generation. This mod has a lot more features and we encourage you to explore it on its wiki page. That, of course, is going to be linked below the video. If you had tried lowering view distance and 
pre-generating chunks and you're still experiencing lag, then something very specific could be causing problems. This is where server profiling comes into play. You can use Forge's built-in debug profiler to find specific lag sources. To run the debug profiler, you can do the following. Enter your Apex server panel and then click on console to the left of the tab. In the text box, go ahead and enter your command, debug start, and make sure that you don't put a slash in it. Debug space start. And then go ahead and hit enter. And let the debug profiler run for around half an hour, 20 to 30 minutes. After you've given it time to run, go ahead and issue a command, debug stop, again without the slash, and debug space stop, and then just hit enter. You have now successfully run the debug profiler. These results are going to be saved in a folder called debug in your server's FTP panel. Here's an example of what you might find, checking the debug results. In this image, you can see that the depth of the section is defined as the number. And in this example, we're going to be looking at the two tick lines, that's 00 and 03. And then enter the name of the specific section called tick, and to the right of the name, you're going to see the first percentage. This first percentage of 99.99 .99 would be the time to its parent above, or on line 00. zero. For layer 0, it's percentage of a time a tick takes, while for layer 1, it's for the time its parent takes. The second percentage of 15.20 is the time it took for the entire tick. Not all servers are going to be able to run plugins like a SpongeForge server though, and we're going to get into that later. But if you are running a really old or really new version of Forge, you may not be able to run SpongeForge. So luckily, there's plenty of options for performance enhancing mods you can add to the server. Our first Forge mod for optimization is random patches. Random Patches aims to be a highly configurable collection of bug fixes and quality of life improvements for Minecraft. And in addition, it allows several hard-coded settings to be configured. Up next is Foamfix. Foamfix is an all-purpose optimization tool that helps reduce Java heap, uses many different patch uses and fixes. Performant is a mod that's lightweight and can be used to help improve AI of entities, login timeouts, entity collisions, and so much more. All of these mods are going to be linked below the video, so you can look at them on their CurseForge webpage. And now we're going to go over SpongeForge. We have a tutorial on how to install SpongeForge as is. So if you want to use one, it's going to open up a lot of great opportunities for you to improve your server's performance. SpongeForge is also available for modded servers for versions 1.10.2 to 1.12.2. And, of course, the tutorial is going to be in the description of this video. One of the features SpongeForge will offer is timings reports. This is so helpful in determining what the biggest stressors in your server are. This is similar to the aforementioned debug profiler, but it's going to provide some more in-depth information. To make this command, you're going to need to have in-game, so go ahead and hop into Minecraft on your server and type slash sponge space timings space on, and then hit enter. Now you're going to wait roughly 20 to 30 minutes, and you're going to issue the command slash sponge space timings space paste. After you run the command, a link will generate for you to enter the report. Here's an example of what a SpongeForge report might look like. In this first image, the large orange section shows lots of TPS in the server. 
And if we take a closer look, we can see one of the biggest causes here is chunk generation. That came up to 58% of the tick. And in the second image, we can safely assume that in this instance, lag is being caused by excessive chunk generation on the server. The first step to fix this will be to make sure the view distance isn't too high. And alternatively, you can generate or pre-generate your world's chunks to prevent this. Installing SpongeForge is great, but for more advanced server profiling, you can install many performance enhancing plugins inside it. We actually have a guide on how you can install them, which of course is going to be linked below the video. Our first plugin is going to be Cat Clearlag. This is a SpongeForge recreation of the famous Clearlag. It can be used to periodically remove entities and ground items. Our next plugin is Mob Pression. This plugin is used to compress mods and help reduce entity counts. This is helpful if you have mob farms on your server. Our last plugin is Epic Ban Item. With this plugin, you can ban items from being crafted or used. This is useful for certain mods that may have certain items that may cause lots of lag on a server. With these, of course, are all SpongeForge plugins that you can find on the SpongeForge webpage. That is going to be linked below the video along with the specific pages for these plugins. Fabric is another type of modded server you might be running. While it's meant to be more lightweight and modular, it too can experience lag under the right circumstances. Fabric, similarly to Forge, lacks settings that can be changed for performance. The best thing we can recommend setting-wise would be lowering the view distance similarly to what you do with Forge servers. This will load the chunks the same way. The main fix for lag within Fabric servers is going to be adding performance enhancing mods. Now let's go over some of those mods that help you run your Fabric server. There are lots of great options for performance in Fabric mods that might help you further optimize your server and reduce any lag. Our first mod is Lithium. Lithium is a general purpose optimization mod for Minecraft that works to improve a number of systems, including game physics, mob AI, block ticking, and so on, without changing any behavior. The next mod is Phosphor. Phosphor is a Minecraft mod in Fabric that is used to optimize the engine of the game itself. This can drastically decrease loading times in specific dimensions in game. And then there's Spark. This is a fabric version of the famous Sponge plugin, also named Spark. It can be used to profile the server performance and find specific causes of server lag. Keeping the server optimized and lag free is never an easy task. With so many different mods, ways you can run or customizations you can make on your server, it can be super difficult to understand what's causing lag. We hope that our recommendations here can help optimize your own modded server to identify and eliminate any issues you might be facing. Well folks, that's all we've got for you today, and as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.